Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be creating a layout using the Lemonade Cut file from the Sunshine and Lemonade August Hip Kits. This cut file comes with four different elements in one cut file. The little flowers, the lemonade, the leaves, and those butterflies that you saw. And I'm just showing you that I've already backed this cut file with some just white cardstock from my stash and the lemonade cardstock from the cardstock kit this month. And the straw is the branding strip from the Wildly Good paper, I believe. For the ice cubes, if you'll notice, they're a little bit shiny. I added some glossy accents and I just kind of took a toothpick and swirled it around and made it intentionally bubbly and uneven so that it kind of gave that illusion of an ice cube. Now these letters I cut with the Taylor Alpha Metal die from the June kits and I double checked right before I filmed this and it is still available but they are low in stock so if you're on the fence about wanting this die I suggest you run and grab it. I actually did record myself making these letters and I, that footage has just disappeared. I'm not sure what happened to it, but regardless, I took a couple of papers from the Pocket Life kit and I cut two of each letter that I needed, one in some solids and one in this dainty, cute little floral pattern that I love so much. And I just layered the two together and I decided to put the solid on the back so it created just a hint of a little rainbow on the letters. These flowers I have fussy cut from the Wildly Good pattern paper. And I've used the layered flowers and leaves metal die from this month's kit for those leafy little branches. Now I'm wanting to bring in some of the other elements from the cut file and I wanted to start with these flowers. I didn't want to put them on the page just like they were so I'm going to alter them just a little bit by adding some hand stitching. And I've chosen three different colors. A blue, a kind of peachy orange that looks more orange here, and then the other one is pink. I don't, it's showing up a little red here but it's actually a pink color. I do three of each color but I end up only using one of each color on the layout. I'm okay with that because now I have extra little embellishments for the next time. This cut file came with the glass of lemonade, one butterfly, three flowers in different sizes, and one leaf stem. I just chose to cut out the flowers and the butterflies and the leaf stems multiple times so I could have more than one of what I needed. I outlined each flower with some marker that coordinated and I grabbed some pearls from this month's kit just to jazz the flowers up a little bit more. Now here I pulled in some scrap from last week's ink blending project and I decided I wanted to use it to back my butterflies with. I knew I held on to it for a reason. I couldn't let it go. I didn't want it to go in the trash and I'm really glad that I didn't because now I have something to do with it and I absolutely love the way that this turned out. There are several ways to go about backing a cut file, but because I'm not doing each individual piece and I'm just making the whole thing solid, I just glued the whole thing down and decided to cut it out. That actually seemed to be the best way to do that for me in this particular case. I decided not to back the white leaves from the cut file because I already have the green leaves from the die cut and I didn't want to clutter up the layout any more visually by adding extra color or pattern. And right there I got a little tickled at myself because I think I was gonna try to glue that down left-handed and that's just not gonna work for me. So I eventually decided that it was okay to turn the page and just use my right hand to glue that down with. This photo is of my precious niece. She and her mother were in recently and we were all at my husband's other sister's house 
and just swam and had some lemonade and visited with family and we really enjoyed getting to see them because they're from St. Louis so we don't get to visit a whole lot. It's always a pleasure when they do make it in. I actually went ahead and printed that photo twice. Once in color and the other time in black and white just slightly larger than the color picture and I layered them on top of each other. I wanted to use that black and white as a photo mat for the color picture so I chose not to mat my paper with or my photo with pattern paper this time because it already had that double layer on there. This background paper that I'm using is the Cloud White cardstock from the cardstock kit this month and I love it. I really wish that they would just sell whole packs of this cardstock. I would choose this all the time to make all of my layouts on. You guys have probably figured out by now that I say I love this stuff a lot. I do. I'm a huge fan of Hip Kit Club. And one of my favorite things about them, especially now, is how each month it's like getting a whole new line of product. The only downside to that is when it's gone, it's gone. So the best way to ensure that you get the product every month is to just subscribe. You don't have to buy the extra kits, but if you do, you get 15% off of them. And since I'm working with cut files this week, I thought I would remind you guys that the folks at Hip Kit Club have generously allowed their subscribers to have access to every single cut file they've ever made. Maybe I shouldn't say every single one that they've ever made because I don't know how long they've been making them, but it goes back for years. There's a lot of them, hundreds. And so many of them, just like this one, are like getting more than one cut file. For all intents and purposes, you've gotten four cut files because you don't have to use them all together. You can separate them, just use the butterflies or just use the flowers or just use the leaves and do the lemonade without any of it. You can do any combination that you want to. You have that option. So you've purchased one cut file if you purchase this individually, but you're going to get four. I think just cutting out the butterfly and actually enlarging it first and cutting it out all by itself and then just backing those segments individually could be so precious. So now you've gotten a little peek of what the back of this cardstock looks like and I just love that it has that pattern on it. It's It really is like getting a whole other set of pattern papers that you can work with each month if you get this cardstock kit. See, that's gorgeous. I love it. I've chosen a couple of the papers from the Pocket Life kit to just fill in the little tear there. And I'm sorry you can't see at the bottom. I'm a little out of frame. There we go. But I didn't want to add a border around my page this time like I normally do. I wanted to do something a little different for me. So it needed something and this was just the perfect solution. The Pocket Life Kit came in really handy for this particular layout. I don't do Pocket Life scrapping but I love the elements in the Pocket Life kits, so I don't want to miss out on those. And they really helped bring this particular layout together without me having to cut into my precious pattern paper because for some reason I just cringe every time I just have to cut a little piece of it for something like these alphas <laughs> or to back that little, the little tear there at the top and the bottom of the page. It would just hurt my heart too much. <laughs> Clearly, I'm really attached to my products. So on a more personal note, I am starting to relax into this process of creating these videos and doing the voiceover, which is the most nerve wracking for me. And as I've relaxed into it, I've noticed that my country accent is coming out a little bit more and it's probably going to get worse. And that's one of the reasons why I was nervous about this to begin with. But 
I guess we're just going to go with it. And I can't be the only one with a really country accent. So hopefully it won't bother you guys too much. And you won't mind sticking around and listening to me because I do plan on doing many, many more of these in the future. That about does it for today's layout. I have links to the products in the description. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment if you have any questions about the products or process. I'm always pretty quick to respond. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely crafty day. Bye-bye.